This is the Digital Savage Experience Podcast, hosted by Roman Prokopchuk, bringing you all things digital marketing, tech, business, and motivation. What's stopping you from becoming relentless in all aspects of life? Are you ready to become a digital savage? Let's get into today's episode. This is Roman Prokopchuk, and this is the Digital Savage Experience, Episode 43, 5 SEO Trends for 2019. We are just one day away from 2019. Some things change and some things stay the same in the SEO landscape, but with changing times, you need to prioritize your focus. You need to be aware of what to focus on based on the climate. Things like algorithm changes, device prioritization, and machine learning are just a few. I would like to get into five specific things you should be aware of and focus on in the new year. One of which is mobile site compliant to mobile standards. With mobile first indexing pretty much the norm and increasing numbers of search traffic coming from mobile, you need to make sure your mobile experience is compliant to mobile search standards from a design and development standpoint. Run your site to see where it stands with the Google Page Speed Insights tool. Be mindful of what shows up on desktop versus mobile. Some of the suggestions that come back you may not be in control of, but things like caching issues, code issues, and element spacing you should be able to fix right away. Another thing to focus on is Rank Brain getting smarter and smarter. All of Google searches go through RankBrain, which is part of the core algorithm. The RankBrain AI will continue to understand the intent of searches and deliver more relevant results. Make sure your content has the correct intent you desire to drive. To be safe, employ a content strategy that focuses on covering all intent types and focuses on semantic search components. Don't neglect structured data markup. Structured data is used for many purposes by search engines, like enhancing your results in search engine results pages and highlighting information to search engines. New markup is created over time and helps you stay current with advancements like voice search. In 2018, newschema.org markup was created for voice search. Schema.org and Google came up with a markup called Speakable. The markup lets Google Assistant to verbally answer marked content by converting text to speech. People like editors can use the structured data to specify which content they think is adequate to read out loud. Speakable began to be tested for US Google News. When a user asks Google Assistant anything related to news like, tell me the news about SEO, it searches web results and looks for marked up content that is relevant and reads out loud the news article that is relevant and the news source. Google Assistant also sends the article source and two additional sources on the specified topic to searchers' cell phones. If you are providing fast, accurate answers to questions on your website, ensure using structured data to further the reach and effectiveness of your content. Another thing to focus on is video optimization. Voice isn't the only delivery vehicle taking the internet over. Video continues to hold its importance. Video traffic will continue to grow. Make sure your videos are transcribed as well as marked up with structured data. They are included on your website. Optimize your YouTube channel as well as test different video formats including short form. And the last being blockchain for SEO. With all the buzz about blockchain and its uses, it is safe to say the SEO industry will be thrown in the mix as adapters. There are many uses we would love to roll out, but one practical use that would hold value is using it in backlink validation. Backlinks aren't going anywhere. As a SEO pillar since the beginning, backlinks are still one of the best ways to correlate authority. Regardless of block, how blockchain will be used in SEO, we will soon see usage coming in 2019. 
Regardless of what you are focusing on, you need a core foundation of sound code, mobile friendliness, intense specific content that adds value to the user, a strong natural backlink profile, and several other things if you are looking to succeed in SEO now and in the future regardless of the changes. If you have any questions about SEO or any other form of digital marketing, I'm always glad to help. Feel free to contact me via email or any of my social media channels. Take care, guys, and Happy New Year. If you're like me, finding a place to eat is never an easy thing to do. Whether I'm in my hometown of Ewing, New Jersey, or traveling, I always find myself wishing I had a trusted friend I could call to tell me where to eat. The infatuation is that friend. The infatuation helps you find the right restaurant for any situation. Need a place for a first date? Trying to find a spot for your birthday that you don't want to celebrate except you also kind of do? The infatuation has you covered in all of these situations and many more. So if you ever need to find a place to eat but don't want to read through thousands of unreliable crowdsourced reviews, hit up theinfatuation.com or download their free app for iOS and Android to search thousands of restaurant reviews and guides in 22 major cities around the world. Or let the infatuation do the work for you by sending a text to 64560. A real person will respond and help you find a restaurant that's perfect for whatever situation you find yourself in. This podcast has been brought to you by Nova Zora Digital. Find out how Nova Zora Digital can help your company grow online. Learn more at NovaZoraDigital.com. Until next time, all you digital savages.